Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinet's Cats and Coffee. In today's video, I am going to give you two things that you can practice to help improve your air support and help you play with a little bit more of a relaxed, effortless sound. Before we start on all of my fun clarinet tips, I wanna shout out to my patrons and say thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you are not already a patron or a channel member, please consider supporting my channel either here on YouTube or head over to Patreon. All right, so, oh, ow, oh man. Okay, my Band-Aid just came off. That's fine, I don't need a Band-Aid. Okay, clarinets are dangerous. Lately, I've been working on air support with a number of my students and there's one I guess you could could call it a long tone exercise that I have started having them do and suggesting they do this on their own to kind of reset embouchure and air and I'm gonna play it for you really quick just to kind of demonstrate um, what I do and then I will share with you the tips that I've been giving my students and coaching them so here we go. Okay, so the purpose of this very simple exercise is to maintain the same quality of air support from low all the way up to the high register. And I find this the most helpful when starting on low E and slurring between E and F because it gets a little bit of legato motion going and you can really listen to your sound resonate through the instrument, okay? So, of course, you wanna make sure that you take a nice deep breath, think about what you're doing with your embouchure, make sure your tongue position is in the right position, keep your throat relaxed and open, and whoosh your air forward. And while you're playing these long tones, I want you to really think about the points of tension in your body and where you tend to want to hold back your air or clamp or things, okay? And the main thing that you want to do is you want to support from lower. So I find if I take a nice deep breath, it already kind of gives the abdominal cav cavity a place to kind of center on when exhaling, okay? So you take a nice deep breath, you support from very low and it takes a lot of air to get the low E to really sound nice and resonant and beautiful. Then when we jump up one octave to do that in the throat tone register, we have the added challenge of these notes being much, much easier to play. And so we tend to close off our throat or blow a little more wimpy air, but we don't want to do that, right? We want the most resonant, most supported sound possible, okay? So try to remember what you did on the low E to F and transfer that to your throat tone range. The air should support should be the same. You should be blowing through the length of the instrument, same embouchure, keep the tongue high, nice whooshing air. And then you continue up through the different octaves of the clarinet, really trying to maintain that home base of 
air support feeling low. And a lot of times um, as we play, myself included, you all have seen me play many times, we tend to get a little tense and a little pinched. And as we go higher and we tend to like want to do this with our shoulders and stuff. And that's not always necessarily bad. You can still maintain a nice sound while moving your body with the music, which is important to do. But we want to make sure that any body movements that we do are not taking away from the quality of sound and the quality of air and our air support. All right, so give that little long tone warm up a try. And as you heard me play at the very beginning, um, of course, I'm not gonna give you just long tones to play this week. Um, I also recorded an etude and I'm playing it a bit slower. It is in three eight time. You could do this as a chord exercise, finger coordination. You can do a lot of things with this, but I choose to take this at a more moderate tempo so I can really focus on how I am supporting my air going up and down these arpeggiated passages and I can feel myself at different places try to um, well my body kind of wants to tense up doing certain gestures and playing certain notes and so I try really hard to maintain that home base with my air support so give these a try try this etude out Try these long tones out this week. See if it improves your air support and your quality of sound long term. So we want our clarinet playing to be as easy as possible and to be a source of expression where we can really feel like we can sing through the instrument. And so maintaining a very relaxed, well-supported sound is key to doing that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you have a great week next week. I look forward to hearing you guys post this etude and even the long tones up on the Facebook group. And that's free to join if you're not already a member. And in the meantime, happy practicing.